Okay, Brody Robertson is my favorite YouTuber. He is actually the only Linux YouTuber I'm watching. I think he is fucking genius. I mean, he basically reads bug reports and makes money. Imagine of this for a second. Imagine you're asking someone, what do you do for a living? I'm reading bug reports on YouTube. Hmm? Do you fix them or something? Fucking no. Come on me, why you didn't think of that? But what I find infuriating is when he sometimes talks about things he has no idea about. We are currently in the midst of an AI revolution. Incredibly complex code generation that nobody ever thought possible yet. I did Brody. It's a bit scuffed, but a cu- What? Did he just called me a scum? Oh, well, I deserve it, I guess. A couple of years ago, it didn't exist. Art generation that is, for some case- Come on, dude, this is not art. Art is some 3D with stylized shaders. You know what? They should hang out Mona Liza from Louvre and put the blender cube in her place. That's damn art. This is near indistinguishable from human work. Image rigging that's- Sharing time. Um, people usually work on lip syncing, but there is a team that actually works in big booba syncing. I've seen this when visiting a Japanese R&D studio of a large automaker. Yeah, it was Toyota, no shame to tell, and the girl was something like an AI assistant for the car infotainment. True story. Don't know if they put it on production, but you can see all the crazy things on Cars R&Ds. Still pretty uncanny. Voice synthesis that for certain voices and certain models basically sounds exactly the same. What the hell, dude? Voice synthesis that for certain voices and certain models basically sounds exactly the same. There is not such thing. Absolutely not. Pull yourself together. Hey, my name's Goku, and I have three billion followers on TikTok. Hey, my name is me, and I have three billion speckles in my face. Let me put the camera closer to see them better. Um, what you think about my freckles? I like them, because sometimes it's prettier to look a bit more uglier. Putting aside the obvious moral quandaries and legalese about scraping up all of this data, not respecting any licensing whatsoever, whether that be for art, code, people's likeness, those are problems. No, it's not. You know people. With an advanced generative AI, licenses, open source, closed source, music, animations, any kind of digital data won't matter. Imagine all the source code in GNOME repository. Totally garbage. In two years, AI will be able to create a full desktop in a blink of an eye, better than GNOME, and customized on everyone's likes. And if is isn't two years, it will be four, but it's happening already. And you know what's the best part about it? Nobody will spy you, and nobody will care to know what's your beliefs, where have you been, and what you were doing. You simply won't matter. Privacy finally wins, motherfuckers.